My name is Jamie. I'm 17 year old and I go to college. Before I did travel training, mom and dad took me in the car and I went to school and I didn't really have that independence. I just sat at home doing revision or doing homework. Jamie, he is under the autistic spectrum. He also suffers with cerebral palsy and he has total sort of lack of coordination within his body. Without the travel training, I wouldn't be able to go to college all by, my, by myself and I would have got very lost. I studied technical theatre, which is backstage lighting, sound, prop, set. I just love the theatre. It's something which I really want to do in the future. Jamie, have you got your bag ready? You ready to come travel yeah. training? We were first told about travel training by the outreach department that looked after Jamie during his school years and they suggested that we contact them so that he could have a, a training programme to enable him to be able to make way and get to college independently. Travel training is an, it's a one-to-one -one program that's up to 12 weeks um, and it's a person-centered training plan and it's tailored to meet the individual's needs. So whether a child has autism, whether it's a sensory impairment or a mobility impairment, we adjust the training to suitably meet their needs. I was sort of nervous because I didn't know how it was gonna be like, so it was a whole new experience for me. The challenges that Jamie has encountered on his journey to independence is about managing his anxiety and also ensuring that he's safe and that he's able to get safely to and from the bus stop. Right, so Jamie, would you like to board the bus and just check with the driver the destination? Is this bus go to parking? Thank you. It was about teaching him coping strategies and also to ask the driver for assistance and be a little bit more assertive and making sure that he sat down safely and near the driver so that he feels confident. I had worries that I might miss the shop and I feel like scared that I won't know where um, I end up. The first few weeks, the travel trainer was more by your side and they cut it down until they meet you at the college so you can do it all by yourself. From the very first time that Jamie went out with the travel trainer, then everything changed and it seemed to really open Jamie's mind up to the outside world. The travel training have made me more independent and very confident. This is not just for Jamie, this is for the whole family because it's opened up a whole world whereby we now have a son that is more mature, more independent and is more eager to do things. And the travel training programme isn't just an A to B journey. It's actually a much bigger step and process and that these are life skills and they're transferable skills. So the idea is with the travel training they learn their route to and from their place of education and then they can apply those skills to other routes and other places of interest. It might be that they go to a theatre school, it might be that they go to the gym. So there's lots of opportunities that are open to them. Thank you, the next route I want to plan is go um, to a West End theatre. I'm Ashika and I'm 15 years old. I'm in year 11 at school and I'm studying triple science, sociology, history and Spanish. I have a visual impairment, it's called Leber's congenital amaurosis and it just means I'm a bit sensitive to light and I can't really see things are distant. It always meant that you were quite different from everyone else because uh, I had to walk with a cane, it just makes you stand out a bit. Before I started travel training, I used to get 
um, chauffeured home. So I got in a car and then was driven all the way home. She didn't really like it that much. I couldn't really hang around after school. I just had to come straight out and meet the escort. When I used to go out with my friends before the travel training, it was a bit difficult because it took a lot of organizing. Um, like there had to be an adult or one of my parents there just to make sure that everything was okay. It felt quite um, restricted because I really wanted to just be with my friends alone. I came across travel training um, when we were um, thinking about Ashika's transition to secondary school. Ashika's route to school isn't a straightforward five minute journey and there's lots of danger zones I think along the way. There's two main roads and they're particularly busy at school times so I was concerned about her being able to negotiate those crossings. They felt she was ready, that she was in fact leading them so that really reassured me that she could participate in that programme and that she could be successful. When we get to the end of this wall, we're going to turn to our right. Well first she um, walked with me the whole way, but she didn't tell me where to go. She was kind of following me. So tell me what are the things that you need to be looking out for, what are the dangers and the risks of crossing the busy road. Okay. She met me at certain points in the journey, further away from the school each time. When I started, I was quite scared, but as I did it more, I became more confident. So you don't have to be a really confident person to start it. But eventually, I did it all by myself. What I really want for her is to be independent and be able to travel in the same way as and her, her peer group, really. So to be able to do those things comfortably and safely um, and, for, and for me to know that she's safe as well, I think it's important. As long as Ashika has the right tools and other aids and, and things that, that, that will help her, um, then I think, yeah, I think, I think she'll be okay. After my GCSEs, I want to go and want to do A-levels. I guess it would make it a lot more difficult to do the things that I want to do, like go to university if I hadn't had the trouble training. I think I wouldn't be as confident as I was now because it does really help you with your confidence as well as your independence. Now that I've had my travel training, I feel like I can do the same things that my friends are able to do. Everyone look this way and smiling for me. first time I went to school on my own it was that was the, the most important thing just getting used to the surroundings and the landmarks and stuff like that. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. The days where I learnt to travel to school on my own independently without my parents are probably the days and the moments where I learnt the most in my life. You know, it's where you bond with your friends, it's where you build up your confidence. What Redbridge are doing here with the independent travel training is absolutely crucial. When you have a disability, one of the things that's really hard to get to grips with and really frustrating is that a lot of your choices can be taken away from you. People can assume that you need help, you need to be given um, assistance to get to places. But when you're given this skill, it just opens so many doors. I think for Ashika and Jamie, this is the beginning of the rest of their lives because every day in your life you have to make some sort of journey. And for me to be able to give them awards today, I, I, it's, it's brilliant. I've always just wanted to see every child out there to have that freedom, the freedom to be able to do what they want. And um, that's what the travel training is doing. I think to succeed, we all need to find a passion, something we love doing, anything. And when you find it, you need to be brave enough to make that dream happen.